We're going to try something different this year. We're going to try and grow a loofah. What are loofahs, you might ask? Well, as the packet suggests, loofahs are best known for the bath sponges that are made from the mature fruit. It says at the bottom there, the plants are heat lovers and must be grown in a tunnel or greenhouse. They are vigorous growers and will take over whatever structure they are grown in. Well, I don't know how successful I'm going to be with this one because I don't have a greenhouse. My dad does, but he grows his tomatoes and other vegetables in there. So I'm not going to ask him if I can try and grow a loofah in there. So I'm going to get these seeds planted. Then I'm going to get them germinating in a heated propagator. And then when it comes to growing them, I'm just going to put them outside and cross my fingers and hope that I do get some loofahs at the end of the season. Right, let's take a look at the seeds. Well, this is a bonus. I've got two extra. The packet says that there should be eight seeds and I've got ten. I didn't expect them to be black somehow. I expected them to look like I don't know, a pumpkin seed, you know, pale white. These guys are black. Okay, I've got three small pots of compost. I'm just going to put two seeds in each. These other four I'll keep and maybe try again next season if uh, these don't work. Water them in. Place them in a heated propagator. And then wait. Now I'm fairly sure these seeds will germinate inside this because it does generate quite a bit of heat. It's the next stage that I'm more concerned about growing them outside. Let's see what happens. Two weeks later and I've got three loofah seedlings. So this is what they look like almost a month and a half on. I planted two seeds in each pot. So I got two, four, five. That little guy didn't make it. It's getting towards midsummer now. I think these should have been in the ground way earlier than I'm going to put them. But yeah, I'm just going to plant these guys out up at the plot in the next day or so. And we'll just cross our fingers and see what happens with these guys over the remainder of the year. With absolutely zero experience or knowledge on how to grow these loofah plants, you could say I was winging it and you'd be absolutely right. All I do know is that they are climbers and I've set them up in the corner of this one I don't know, climbing frame that I have, dug a hole, filled it up with compost, planted them there. I'll cover them up with a bit of soil, give them a massive drink and we'll cross our fingers. Let's see what the next update brings on those fellas there. All right, it's the middle of August now. Let's see what's going on. As you can see from this loofah plant, not much. I did plant two down there, one has died. This one is having a go now. But like I said, I don't think it's gonna to come to much as we are getting late in the season for it to do anything and then I did plant another here and as you can see I do have one two baby loofahs and there's another where is it just there 
but I think it's too late on in the season for this to kick on and really develop these fruit. So yeah, that's the state of play at the moment, mid-August. Not much has developed since the last video. But we'll carry on and see where we get to at the end of the year. We're a day or two away from October and this is going to be the final segment of my uh, attempt at growing a loofah. So let's go and see how the plant is doing. And as you can see, not very well. We do have baby loofahs on here. But, I mean, nowhere near the size they need to be. There we go. So yeah, I don't think this summer was warm enough for this plant to really get started. We had a cold May, which really set everything back. And as I think I mentioned at the start of this process, the, pa the packet suggested that we uh, grow these in a polytunnel or a greenhouse. But I threw caution to the wind and just chucked them outside. And as you can see, this my friends, is the result. All right, what did I learn from my attempt at trying to grow a loofah? Well, I did learn that this isn't big enough to scrub my ball sack, let alone the rest of my body, and that I probably should have grown these guys in a polytunnel or a greenhouse, as the packet did suggest. Would I try this again? Yes, I would. And I think I will next year, despite what the packet says. Hopefully we'll get a long, hot summer, and I'll get some decent-sized loofahs. Anyway, that's something for me to ponder on for next year. I wonder if Ryan could grow a loofah plant over there in Canada with his setup now, that huge polytunnel that he has. Hmm, I might have to drop him an email, get that challenge going. All right, that's this little experiment done and dusted for this year. If you fancy giving them a go, please do so. And if you get better results than me, do let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, Thanks for joining me. If you have, remember to hit the like button, share this video, subscribe if you want, but most importantly, please do comment down below. And until the next one, bye for now.